Hello everyone, this is the introduction to GPRPy. So the first thing that we want to do is to open uh, Anaconda Prompty or maybe a Python Prompty and you can type here GPRPy and hit enter. Then here we can choose between profile and common midpoint. Right now we want to do profile so you can type P and hit enter. Now GPRPy is open. Well, if you want to process some data, we need to come here and click Import Data. I'm going to use the example that comes with the software. So find whatever you put your GPRPy folder and click in GPRPy, Example Data, GSSI, and this is the raw data that you're going to work with. Well, that's how the data looks like. And the first thing that you need to know about GPRPy is that those options here on the top those are visualization options they are just gonna change the look of the data not the data itself and those options here on the right side those are the process processing options so let's start by adding some contrast so the contrast just change the saturation of the picture there is no process behind it and once you change the number here you can just click in refresh plot and that's how the data looks. You can put a little bit less if you'd like to. And also, if you don't like the grayscale, you can just click here and change the color of the scale. So let's talk more about those options. Uh, you can also change the range of your axis. So let's say here you have between 0 and maybe 25, and you just want to see between 10 and 15. So you can click in Set X Range and the minimum that you'd like to see in that case I'm saying 10 and the maximum is 15 and this is how the data looks like between 10 and 15 and in case you want to go back to the original data or how it looks like at the beginning you can just click in full view same thing is applied for Y range we also have a grid option you can click in grid and that we are up here um, you can also take the grid away and there is also a undo option the interesting part is that like undo will just undo processing steps. If you decide to visualize between 5 and 15 and you hit undo, nothing will happen. Undo just undo the processing steps. So if I apply some filter here and I click in undo, that, that's going to work. If you want to undo a visualization process, you need to click in full view or you need to come here and input the new information for your x-axis.